Hello guys, Greg back with another video. So the idea of this video is for me to discuss all the fragrances that I own that I rate as a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll get some response videos on here from other reviewers and viewers. So I'd like to sort of really see what pe other people own and rate as being the best in their collections. Now I don't know how many fragrances I have tried personally, probably I guess somewhere between 750 and 1000. Um, in terms of the ones that I own that I rate as 10 out of 10, there's only 6. Um, ones that I've picked are only 10 out of 10 to me, other people may completely dis disagree. The only criteria that I've used here is smell, not looking at price, performance, anything else, just how good it smells. Um, my collection split down the middle between niche and designer. Uh, so the ones that I've picked here probably be, might be a surprise to a lot of people, but it's my, my personal opinions on just on the smell of the fragrance. So let's get into it. I'm going to give just some very brief details on each one because I want to try and keep this quite a short, snappy format. So the first one, first 10 out of 10 fragrance, the one that I've got here, this is Dior Homme. So if you're watching this video, there's, chances are you already know about this fragrance. But it's a powdery fragrance. It's a floral, wood, woody fragrance with um, amber and leather. The, the main notes in here are iris, cocoa, or cacao, um, and lavender. It's the smoothest, classiest fragrance you could ever wish to find. It's just phenomenal. Um, best, definitely top one, two, three designer release of all time. And the first entrance to my perfect 10 club, that's Dior on. Second pick. Gucci Paul Homme 2 or Gucci Pour Homme De, if I'm saying it completely correctly. So this one is, this is dominated by black tea. It's, I haven't found a better tea fragrance than this yet. This, it's got cinnamon in there, violet leaf and tobacco. It's got a very good myrrh note in here, which I've mentioned in previous videos, which kind of reigns in and balances out the sweetness and just contrasts very, very well. Um, this one is uplifting to me. It makes me, lifts my spirits every time I wear it. it I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Cannot get enough of this one. Um, so that's my perfect, second perfect 10, Gucci Pour Homme 2 or Gucci Pour Homme De. Third one, this is one that I've reviewed previously. This is YSL's Arrive Gauche. I will leave a, dis a link to the actual video if you want to find out a bit more than the brief description that I'm going to give you. So this one's the ultimate barbershop fragrance for me. It's the keynotes in here are rosemary, lavender and star anise. The fragrance is a little bit herby, a bit woody and a little bit smoky. But overall, it's just extremely clean, extremely classy and definitely a perfect 10 out of 10 in my personal opinion. That's Reeve Gauche. So three out of three designers so far for my perfect 10 club. Um, number four, another designer. Needs no introduction and is um, has made many appearances on various videos of mine. Dior's Fahrenheit. Well, I haven't actually reviewed this fully yet. I, I will do, but I need to do justice to this one. So I'm going to wear it for a, a few more months before I really get into doing a view, review. But I have described it previously, and what I've said is, it's kind of like greasy oil and petrol mixed with leather, violet leaf, musk and woods. Um, I've tried fragrances before I said maybe 750 to 1000 fragrances. Anything from five pounds up to, I don't know, I've tried fragrances in Harrods that were six, seven thousand pounds. Still nothing compares to this in terms of smell. This is the best smelling fragrance I have ever smelt at the moment. I'm still looking for one to beat it. Dior's Fahrenheit, 10 out of 10. Number five. And this is a fragrance that I'm just working on a review of as we speak. And I will have that up in the next couple of days. But this one is Victor and Rolf's Antidote. This one absolutely blows me away. Everything you could want to find in a fragrance, this ticks the box. You get fruit, you get woods, you get smoke, you get herbs, you get florals, you get spices. Every, something in here for everyone. But combine it all, it's a masterpiece. To me, anyway. Um, so that's Victor and Rolf's Antidote, 10 out of 10, let's put you there. And the final one, and the only niche fragrance, very surprisingly on this list, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So the fragrance is supposed to represent a walk in the Irish countryside. The first few minutes of this are dominated by a very, very classy lemon verbena note. 
And then after that, you pick up all those floral smells that you would expect in the Irish countryside. You get violet, you get violet leaf, you get iris. And then you get some cedar and some vetiver in here. Also some amber and some sandalwood. I can go on with the notes from here. Uh, creed am the creed amber green note is, uh, is very prevalent in this and very, very classy. This is one of the most critically acclaimed and most loved fragrance in the fragrance community. You know, it's definitely up there in the top few and with very good reason. A definite 10 out of 10 for me. Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So there you go, six fragrances so far that I rate 10 out of 10. Um, um, there'll be more additions to this list and I will update as we go along. But as I said before, please do, you know, do a response video. I'd love to see what you guys rate as 10 out of 10 in your collections. Um, so there you go, that's me done. Please, you know, do rate, comment and subscribe on the video. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in a couple of days with that uh, Victor and Rolf antidote review. Thanks guys, speak to you soon, bye.